a long time ago, I played a game called Sakura Hunt. I didn't know anything about it, but it's all a game about well, hunting the best landscape during the Sakura season in Japan, where all the uh, cherry trees blossom and it, it becomes absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. When I saw Formosa flowers at Spio in 2022, I was immediately drawn to it because, well, flowers are beautiful and games about flowers also tend to be beautiful, so why wouldn't this game be beautiful? So also, it comes from Soso Game Studio, which is a studio I like very much, even though I was a little bit disappointed with Dadao Cheng, but I have high hopes for this again. I haven't opened this game yet, so is this game going to be worth the amount of money that you have to pay to get your hands on it? So play wheel. This is a game by designer Ling Cheng Yu, and it's a tiny little game in a small box that is for two to four players, plays in about 15 to 25 minutes and ages 10 or up higher. Now, what's going to be inside? I'm looking forward to finding out the, the what the artwork is like, because I bet it's going to be uh, really, really great. So, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's take a look first at the cover, though. The cover, I mean, come on, it, this is uh, really cool. Very, very cool. I love the graphic design. It's so very simple, very obvious. It's just, it's, this is very cool. Uh, I, I love, I love this kind of style. So uh, what can I say? Uh, the back, yes, we do get how the game is set up and the components, which is very nice, and a very quick description of the game in small print that actually took me a little while to read. And it also said, oh, the second edition comes with the Yaku rules uh, to provide great attention in the game. Oh, great attention. I like that. So, the description of the game on the back of the box says Seasons change and flowers blossom. Nature, sun and wind enjoyed by visitors in the mountains are all beautiful memories of their journeys. Formosa Flowers is adapted from and inspired by the traditional Japanese card game Hanafuda. Through playing flower cards of the same month, players collect required icons for scoring sets. The timing of scoring is very important because cashing out with solid points at the right time before all the others leave the round is the key to victory. So there you go, this is a time sensitive sort of gameplay. Right, the box is quite thick actually, this feels very, um, very robust in my hands. And I love the tact of the printing, it's, it's very smooth, very very cool. So for most of flowers in English, it's here, and this is it. These are the rules. So <laughs> I can't imagine that this is going to be a difficult game to play. Having said that, my only worry is that the last time I played so so games and it was Dalao Cheng, it was very difficult to understand the rules. So I wonder if this is. Uh, They've paid a bit more attention to proofreading and um, and editing for this, but it seems an easy and you know simple enough game to set up and, and play. So hopefully it won't be too hard. We get a few tokens. Oh, they come out very easily. I think look very easily. That is it. That's beautiful to see. I love that. <laughs> I love that because that means that they're never going to get, you know, wounded when when they come out of the spruce. They're very thick. It is exactly the same style 
as the cover. So that is very nice. The shape are unmistakable. You know, <laughs> I love doing this. This is to do this. The, you know, this is kind of I'm feeling here. Like uh, when you get bubble wrap and you, I'm I'm feeling the same thing here. Doing doing this. So um, this could become a new hobby of mine. Uh, just unscrewing this game, but I've already done it, so I cannot do it again. But anyway, this this feels very good. Uh, this is nice. So we put them aside, all these tokens that I don't know what they're for, but that's fine. And then we get a very deck of small cards, very small deck of cards. Ah! because I didn't give Dado Chang a completely fully favorable review that you're doing this to me? Of course it is. Okay, okay. <laughs> right. Again, the cards feel very, very nice. They are thick enough. Uh, they, they're quite resistant, although they are not laminated. So, yep, it's leaving. Of course. The back of the cards is just as the box and we get four player eight cards which is very good and then we get the flower cards it is nice that they have done this in in small cards because it will fit very neatly in the table uh, if there were big cards, then it would need a very big table. This feels very cool. Oh, look at the bear. I wonder if this um, has to come somehow together to make landscape like in Sakura Hunt or something similar. This is really beautiful. Very, very beautiful. I don't know, there's a quality about this kind of peaceful, non-conflict orientated kind of games, even if they are competitive, but there is something about being able to achieve something without having to fight for it in a bad way. So I don't know, I'm quite excited about trying this game and I'm playing it fully, I, I hope. Because being so small, at least this could all fit within a little bag. It would be great to be able to get one of these games that I can take with me and play, you know, explain in 10 minutes and play anywhere and everywhere without having to be a fighting game. So that is, my friends, Formosa Flowers. And so far, so, so, if you're already there, very good. Uh, if you've already played this game, I'd love to hear what you have to say so please leave me a comment or get in touch in twitter or facebook or anywhere you like and let me know i very much look forward to hearing from you but until the next time thank you for being there it is truly appreciated and i will talk to you very very soon so play we all